All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing tags match down at Flying Armadillo. Uh, we did the same thing last week. We didn't do too well last week. We only got a little bit of improvement, but the goal is for today to improve again. Improvement, no matter how big or small, is improvement. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video, guys. Starting out here, we are at Flying Armadillo, starting on hole one, 250 feet par three this is a hanging basket i just got done with a really good warm-up and i was feeling extremely good so i ended up juicing it about 30 to 40 long here i have a look for birdie there's a slight wind making the basket swing a bit and i just leave it a little bit to the left for a tap in hole two 280 foot downhill plays more like 250 basket is up on a rock ledge all the way down there by the tree I'm throwing my arrowhead, and from the look you see here, I am parked for a tap-in birdie. Hole three, 235 foot, also a little downhill, but once you get past the initial gap, you do have a hyzer route. So I try to get it out and hyzer back, but I leave it a little inside. Because I hit a tree, I end up here, so I pitch up for an easy tap-in par. Hole four is a 250 foot uphill snake-like fairway. It is really difficult because you have this tree right in front of you and you have to make it through the gap on Anheuser with something that'll fade out at the end. Unfortunately, I hit this tree right to my left here and kicked into the fairway. So I pick up my overstable approach disc, the horny toad, and I'm just gonna chip it up there the basket for an easy par because I'm not trying to get too greedy today. Hole 5, 315 feet straight ahead kind of to the left side of the fairway here. I'm throwing the Ranger on a slight turnover line hoping it's going to fight out at the end. It felt good out of the hand but it didn't slide as far as I thought and I guess it caught this bush. So I take the gnome here and I'm just going to forehand something up the, the 50 feet there so I don't get into any trouble and tap out my easy par. Hole six is only 190 feet, but there is a triple mando as you can see by that bar over the top, as well as a bunch of trees in the way. So I just try to punch something up as far as I can. I'm left with this look here. I just want to backhand the gnome up to the basket and tap out an easy par. Pull it to the left straight into the bush though. I have some weird footing here from about 20 feet out, but nothing I can't deal with. A Little bit of a stressful par, but it worked out in the end. Hole seven, 245 foot par three downhill. I'm throwing the harpoon out of the hand. It felt amazing. I was expecting it to fade back a little bit, but it never did, unfortunately. You can see me on the left side here through the trees. I have a slight run but I don't want to be too greedy hit the pole so I just tap out my par hole 8 uphill 380 foot par 4 I'm throwing the starship the person before me threw his right into the ground and so that was a little bit in my head and I do the exact same thing I had weird footing here as well didn't really want to have an awkward run up so I get a practice run up in just to make sure I'm not gonna trip over anything. Then I throw my shot, which I end up throwing nose up because I was afraid of twisting my ankle. And I hit the tree, so I just pitch up for an easy par. Hole nine, 395 feet, also a par four. You just gotta hit the initial gap here. And I do, I just don't give it any air, but luckily I slide up to this position here, which leaves me an easy, very short approach to the basket here. I end up with a 20 footer for birdie for a nice morale booster going into the back nine. Hold 10, 240 feet, just a stock hyzer for me. There is a wooden fence surrounding the basket, but it does not play as an island. I throw it a little too far to the left, but it looked good coming in. Then it hit 
a branch and rolled kind of out. So I have a straddle here from about 20 feet for birdie and I just leave it a little high. So hit the band, nice stress feet, tap in part. Hole 11, very straightforward shot. Just throw it straight, avoid the trees on the left and you'll be okay. I do not avoid the trees on the left and I kick straight down. So I pick up and I'm gonna throw the same disc on a flex line forehand. I hit one of the trees guarding the basket and get a very fortunate roll. Luckily, I have a nice 15 footer for par. Hole 12, very straightforward tunnel shot. It's extremely hard to hit the tunnel and miss this first tree here. I hit one of the early trees and so I'm stepping out from my arrowhead with my harpoon, trying to throw a short flex line. I just leave it too far outside and I hit a tree and drop. So I'm doing a patent pending to avoid these trees here because it is extremely difficult to get out. I park it for an easy tap in bogey. Hole 13, just a stock kaiser up and over the trees to the left. Makes life really easy when you have that much airspace to work with. It drops down about 20 feet from the basket. I step up and was super cocky about this shot and I leave it short. You see my frustration there. I just, I'm in my own head at this point. Hole 14, 225 foot triple mando downhill. I wanna throw a hyzer flip disc and I pull it just a tad to the left. I hit this tree so I have to step out and patent pending something. I take my horny toad and just don't put enough Anheuser on it. So I have this step out forehand with the gnome trying to save a bogey and I throw it in for a par. That was a huge uplift. Hole 15, 150 foot downhill again, but very tight lines you have to hit. I'm taking my gnome here, trying to throw it flat and pierce through the gap here. Pull it left, only get about 15 feet off the tee. I take my arrowhead and I just want to forehand it up really bad forehand, turn it over. I have a long putt here. I'm just trying to get something all the way up there. Gives me an easy look for bogey. Unfortunately, drop back a sh another stroke, but I told myself that it would be okay because we have a couple more holes we can make up some strokes. Hole 16, 430 feet. The hole pans to the left the entire way. I wanna throw a forehand straight down the fairway and let it fade to the left. I leave it inside and that leaves me with this look here. In my head, I'm not really sure what I want to do. So I take a look and I think, okay, I can throw the long turnover shot. And I'm asking my card mates here if they could be on the watch out because I'm going to throw it high and just in case it doesn't turn out, they can see where it goes. I put a ton of Annie on it and it turns into a roller which rolls all the way up to the basket. I'm left with this 20 footer here, right on the edge of the green. I was extremely scared at this point because I got up here after a terrible drive and I didn't want to squander the opportunity. Thankfully, I hit the putt dead center chains for a birdie to get back under par. Hole 17, 495 foot par four. You wanna get all the way up to the end of the tunnel here, which is about 200 feet. I wanna have something on a skip shot, but it slips out of my hand early and I hit the first available tree. So I'm not really sure what I wanna do here. I decide that because it's not very windy today, I'm gonna to disc up and throw the starship. That seems to be the best play because I end up in this position here where I have a decent look to get it under the basket for par. You can see there, I tapped the tree because I was a little afraid that I'm gonna smack my hand. Done it before, it does not feel good, but I check to make sure I'm far enough from the disc, but not too far. And again, just still scared of hitting my hand. So I short arm it and I, it leaves me with about a 45 look for par. 
Not my best run, but under the basket, easy tap in bogey, back to even par. At this point, I'm looking at scores. Uh, me and the leader are on the same card. He is one stroke behind me coming into this hole. This is an island hole, 200 feet, and I just hit the tree. All I have to do is hit the island, which forces him to hit the island, but because of the fact that he also missed the island, all I have to do is make the putt or leave it close. So as if I were to bogey, we are still tied if he were to make his drop zone putt. I don't make the putt, but I leave it close enough that I can easily tap in the bogey putt to go to one over par. He ends up taking a double bogey, so I take the win. All right, so that is it for the tags round today. Uh, we came in with tag 110 and we're leaving. We won today's tag today's tag match and we we left with 51 so big improvement uh next week when we cook them out here hopefully we'll have a low tag out, out here potentially get down into the 20s or even single digits but uh sadly i didn't meet my goal for under par i choked the or even par i choked the last hole and completely missed the island didn't even give it a chance but that's okay that's that's, that's part of golf but uh appreciate you guys for watching uh please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one